After spending time looking at Lewis structures, I want to use those Lewis structures to look at the shapes of molecules. The theory that helps us figure out the shapes of molecules is called Vesper. It's spelled Vesper, but that sounds silly, so we pronounce it Vesper. Vesper is an acronym, and it actually contains the entire theory. Vesper is short for valence shell electron pair repulsion. And so Vesper tells us that electron pairs found in the valence shell repel each other. That's it. That's the whole theory. Now with that knowledge, we can draw the shapes of molecules, we can name these shapes, and we can also estimate the internal bond angles within molecules. The first thing we're going to do is identify electron pairs around the central atom. I refer to these electron pairs as sites. So when I say sites, I mean that a site can be a lone pair of electrons, an unbonded pair of electrons. A site can also be a bond. And the Vesper theory doesn't care if a bond is a single bond, or double bond, or triple bond. It treats all bonds the same. It treats a bond as a single site. And Vesper says that these sites, these electron pairs, will repel each other. They will get as far away from each other as possible. So let's start with CO2, carbon dioxide. We've drawn this Lewis structure a couple of times already. We've seen that carbon is double bonded to both oxygens. Now to visualize this, we could draw the Lewis structure, or we can use a tool online. The University of Colorado hosts these simulations that are referred to as FET simulations. So let's take a look at those. So if I type in FET, and I see FET interactive simulations, you'll get to FET.Colorado.edu, FET being spelled P-H-E-T. And we can go to the chemistry, and more specifically, we can look at the general chemistry simulations. And these are sorted alphabetically. And what we want to do is we want to find the simulation called molecule shapes. So we can click on that. And if we hit the play button, the play button will launch the simulation for us. Now we have two choices. We can look at just generic models or the shapes of actual molecules. I'm going to start with the generic model right now. And here what you can see is just three atoms that are bonded together. And you can click and drag and look at it in three-dimensional space. And you have choices of adding or removing bonds. I'm going to get rid of these single bonds here because carbon dioxide contains two double bonds. And what that does is it shows you that these double bonds, these sites on the central atom, will repel each other and get as far away as possible. You can actually click and drag and try and bend these out of shape, but you'll see that Vesper will snap them back so that they're as far away from each other as possible. Now we can do a couple of things here. We can click on the molecule geometry, and the electron geometry, and I'll explain the differences of those later. And then we can also show the bond angle. And so this molecule right here is a straight line. It is a linear molecule. And the bond angle between the central atom and two surrounding atoms is 180 degrees. So when looking at carbon dioxide with its two double bonds, Vesper recognizes that there are two sites on the central atom. Each double bond is a single site. Those double bonds or those sites repel each other to make a linear shape, which creates a 180 degree internal bond angle. That's it, that's how Vesper works. Now there's certainly more complicated molecules out there than carbon dioxide, so we'll take a look at those in a later video.